and we are live. Good morning, Cheryl, again. And Diana and Connie. A lot of us were over watching Miss Rita this morning. She did some joy cutaways this morning. And my typing is terrible, terrible, terrible today. It's always bad, but it's really bad today. <laughs> my fingers don't want to work. Good morning, Louise. There's our there's our star of the hour, Miss Louise Beauregard. Yes, Diana, 20 gauge comes in straight cut pieces. Um, it's not on a roll because it's a little bit heavier. It's called a stem wire, where the stuff on the paddle is the rolled wire is called a paddle. It's more flexible. Um, it's still about the same, Connie. Um, it's hard to move my ring finger and my middle finger because it hurts from the fingers, the palm, the wrist, all the way down to the elbow. But today will be easier. Hi, Pat. Good morning. Good morning, Christina. You missed Miss Rita this morning, Christine? Um, yeah, she did a cutaway card this morning. Cuter than Cupid. It was cute. All right, so let me play the intro, guys, and we're going to get started here. And this is our February calendar. Today is the third. Shout out to my brother. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Love you. I'll give you a call later. <laughs> um, and somebody else had a birthday. I don't remember. Hi, Tina. Good morning. You're here. Yay. Hi, Christiana. Okay, Gail. That's more important. So this is the calendar, and uh, today we're doing we're featuring Louise Beauregard's Gnome Dome. That's what I call it. it was the Gnome Dome? Uh, it's her little gnome shaker card. And um, on the seventh, we will be doing the peony. And on the ninth, I don't know what flower we're doing, as I've said. I still have not made up my mind on that. Um, I may, depending on my hand, after Tuesday, I may have to change that one totally. So, But we will see. We will see. And then, of course, we have the rest of the month. And as always, if you have a holiday or something that I haven't made something for, because like I said, I don't make for every single holiday through the year because we have national holidays and then we have donut day and hot dog day and all kinds of stuff um but if there is a holiday you celebrate that i haven't made something for tell me because i will show you guys how to convert any kind of card or box or whatever i've done to go with the um holiday that you're wanting to celebrate um Sometimes it's a simple color change. Sometimes we need to change a sentiment. But I don't mind showing you guys that. So make sure that you uh, let me know if you celebrate something that I haven't made anything for. Don't forget to shop the current sale. Um, still 30% off uh, vinyl and paper. I believe this ends on Sunday. It's either Sunday morning or Sunday night. I can't remember my brain. Um, 
brain fog kicked in right there, but it, it will end on Sunday. I think the new one starts on Sunday morning. I think it ends actually on Saturday night. Um, and the current giveaway, that is coming up. And guys, I just want to let you know that there are some changes going on. And there may be one more giveaway after this. And this may be my final giveaway because my relationship with Cricut is changing. Um, so I don't know if this will be the last one or not. So if you want to get in on this one, you need to jump in on it. Again, there may be another one following this and may, maybe not. Um, so make sure that you're jumping in on that. And don't forget to jump in on Cricut's Community Create Challenge. That ends on February the 7th. You can find all the details of both of these giveaways in the featured pin post of both of my groups. And uh, it will be there for you. Right, Diana, it is. I know I don't need to do flowers, but I promised you guys, and I know that you guys will let me slide, but flowers are one of my passions. So I really, that's why I use so many of them and so many of my crafts on my boxes and my cards and stuff like that. So um, I, I, I just can't give it up cold turkey, you know? <laughs> All right, um, let's see. This is, I, I saved it. I saved it in here into my bookmarked. And I made some changes because that's what we do when we feature. Uh, and there is nothing wrong with Louise's file. Trust me, if you just want to cut it as is, you can cut it as is because it's super cute. But I do like to make changes because I don't want mine to be identical. Even though I'm making it, it's not my file, it's her file. Um, you can go in and edit a copy, and if you, you're going to share her file, please ask her prior to saving it as yours and then and sharing it. Um, so the link that I shared uh, yesterday and the one that is in Design Space is her link directly to her project. Okay, So if you're going to do a save as and then you're going to save it with your changes in it, please ask her permission first. Okay, that's just a common courtesy um, since it's not something that you've created from a blank canvas. Okay, now she has two, in her file, she has two setups. And this one is set up if you have a maker machine and you have the perforation blade. And that is uh, quick swap number 11. And I'll show that to you here in a minute. And that's the one that I used. And it cut beautifully, Louise, by the way. This one is if you have a Explore machine. Okay, so that's the one you want to use if you have an Explore. So I had a maker, and I because you, if you have a maker, you still have to have the perforation blade. If you don't have the perforation blade, you're still going to have to cut this one. So I just got, I just kind of hid the stuff in the file that I wasn't going to use. And I didn't use this one. And then I used this one because I did have that blade. However, I knew that I was going to cut mine from foil poster board. And so instead of regular cardstock. So I had to ungroup this. And to make my changes because of the material that I was using. Because I was using. Or if you're using a pattern material that only has one side. Something like that. You will need to flip this piece. Okay, so you're going to flip it horizontally. That way it's backwards so that when you put them together, your correct side will be showing. Okay, so make sure that if you're using a pattern paper that you want a specific pattern on, or you're using a one sided paper like foil poster board, that you ungroup and you flip one side of it, regardless of which one you're cutting. If you're using just plain regular solid cord cardstock, you do not have to take that step. Correct, Louise? And, and if I'm explaining anything wrong, because I have not put this card together, all I did was cut it. Um, so if I explain it wrong, Louise, please correct me. So that's what I did with those two pieces, and I used the silver, Cricut Silver foil poster board. Um, 
And then this is the front of the card, I guess. I didn't, that's the back. And then this is the front, okay. So I. she had two in here, one that says Happy Valentine's and one that says Be Mine. I didn't use this one, so I just grouped it and hid it in my file. And there are two of these, and since I'm only doing one, I hid that as well. This is, <clears throat> this is made from acetate, and I used the foil acetate with the heart pattern on it for mine. Totally do what you want. If you want to use clear and your candy show more, or if you want to kind of disguise your candy, um, then you can uh, cut that from one with a pattern on it. And because I cut that from one with a pattern, I'm one that uses visuals when I'm cutting so I can just glance at a mat. And just my habit, I use a light blue for to tell me that that is going to be cut from acetate. So I changed it to blue. That's all I did to it. Then this piece right here, I ungrouped it. I didn't, I changed the color. Well, I didn't change the color. I, oops, don't want to move, don't want to stretch his nose. This is the, the nose color. And then I had pink here and pink. This is white and pink cardstock. And then I changed the red to a darker pink card stuck on mine. So I just went in, that's purple, but oh, let's get over. So I changed that to the darker pink on mine and went into color sync and made sure all of my colors were the same. I brought this one down. I cut my hearts and my hex from the same color. Um, that was a separate color and then I made this pink as well for his pants. So those are pink, and then this is the front of the card. Okay. I can't figure out why I have two bags. Oh, this, I don't want this one. <laughs> That's for the other one. I just realized I did that. You want to, you only need one of these, and I flipped mine. So I'm just going to hide that one. I forgot to hide it. This is the one I'm using. I want it to be flipped from the front. So these are the pieces. Here's my front piece. Here's my back piece flipped. And then here's my window. Here's his hat and his pants. Then I have my hearts for the hat decor. The be mine for inside if you use it. I may or may not use it. I hadn't decided. His beard and then, of course, his hands and nose. So that's the way I changed mine up. Okay, how I ungroup without trying 50 times, it's, um, it's pretty easy right here. These are attached, but let me detach and group and select it and group. Now, if you've got everything, if you've got several groups and you group them all and you do separate groups, you can... You'll have to ungroup, select each section and ungroup it, or you can drag it, Cheryl. You can drag them up and create your own new groups, and that will, oops, did that go up? And then it will supposedly ungroup them or move them into a group. Let's see. There we go. So now I can ungroup that piece just by dragging that up. It just depends on what you're trying to do. This group right here is inside the other group. You can bring it up and drag it out. I can't get mine to work. There we go. Did I make it? Nope. So now I've ungrouped that from that group. And all of this still stays grouped. But you can simply just drag it out. Because the layers panel is smart now. Right, right, Marianne. Good morning, Dolores. Yes, thank goodness it's Friday. But tons of things that you can do with this file, tons of different materials that you can do. I'm just going to ungroup all of that. Um, but this is your ungroup button up here. Okay, super easy. 
Several ways. More than one way to do anything, Cheryl. You can ungroup it a couple of different ways. In crafting, we have more than one way to do anything. Good morning, Joyce. So those are the pieces that I'm using today on mine. And hopefully I will be able to put this together without too much fumbling. So let's pop overhead. If I can get there. There we are. I'm looking for... I forgot to get my red line tape. Uh, I'm assuming that that might be what you use, or I could use dots, too. Let me see if I can find my dots. I forgot to get my adhesive out, guys. I apologize. I have a, there it is. That and maybe my tape runners. I am so disorganized this week. I apologize. I have sat my tape runner down there, it is, and it got lost. Um, no, Judy, it depends. Let me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just go back to the original file um, so you guys can see. Since I forgot to hide a piece, I don't want to confuse anybody. I want this one. There we go. Right here. How come it won't change for me? That's not it. That's not the one I want. I want Louise's card. Why is Nancy's coming up? There we go. I want to edit a copy of this one. There we go. There we go. Yay. Um, here are the two backs. She has two files, okay? This is the back of each one, okay? So you'll want to ungroup if you're not going to do both. And you'll select one, oops, one group. What's grouped here? There we go, one group. <clears throat> so you'll want to, if you're not doing both, you'll want to do that. I'm going to regroup that and hide it. And then you'll want to ungroup and hide this one. Okay. So now I have a back and a front, okay, but I'm cutting mine from foil poster board, so I need to flip this so my foil will be on the back, okay, and that's all I did. You need one with the solid, the front with the solid line, and then you need the back with the perforation line. Oh, shoot. My bad. I went back and then didn't do it. Let me go back again. Let me go back to my stuff. Let me just get a new, fresh copy. Start over. Um, that's, I don't know how I did a copy in there. Let's go bookmarked. All of your fantastic projects are in there. There we go. Let's edit a copy. Replace. All right. So here is her back pieces. If you do not have a perforation blade, if you have the perforation blade, then you'll use this one in a maker. So I didn't use that one, so I just hid that group. I ungrouped this one, and I have two back pieces, but I'm only doing one card, so I'm going to hide one. And then I'm going to select which gnome I'm doing down here. And so this one I am going to group. And then I'm going to hide that group. And the reason I'm grouping it is so I don't have to hide each individual piece. And then I'm going to hide one dome. I only need one dome 
one backer piece and then my gnome piece because she's got the elements laid out on the top piece. Okay, so if I were to ungroup that and slide all of these pieces over, you'll see a solid bigger hole cut on that one. So that's my front. And because I'm cutting it from foil or a pattern, as I explained before, you'll want to flip that piece. If it, you're using solid cardstock, you don't need to do that. But those are all the pieces that you need for cutting it. This is the front. This is the back. Did that make sense? Right, Louise. That's red line tape is the one of the toughest that you can use. Let me see if I can grab a roll here. And I will show you guys. That clear it up for you, Judy. Yes, Judy, this is your back. This is the back piece, perforation. Solid line is the front. All right. So what we mean when we say red line tape, this one is a quarter inch. This one's an eighth inch. Um, extra strong. It's got a plastic red liner on it. It's not actually red. And this is the iCraft brand. You can get it at Michael's, Joann's, Scrapbook.com, um, Amazon, you name it. Several places. So I'm going to start, and I don't know if that blender truffle will fit in there or not. I haven't made it yet. This is the plastic lining off of my acetate right here and you can do the acetate you could fold it either way that you want to fold it that's the silver side or the pink side and I'm gonna have the pink side out um, might look better with the silver side though I'm going to go with it my original way I may regret it but I'm gonna try and then you have all your little little pieces so, I'm going to start with the acetate piece, and you're going to fold it, mountain fold, on all of the scores around the top, okay? It's a hexagon, so fold around your hexagon, and then you're going to mountain fold your next line on those is a mountain fold. And then that bottom tab is going to be a valley fold. Okay. Then you have two tabs. One is an angled tab here. And then you have one, um, I call it my pyramid tab over here. And you're just going to simply put those together. So I'm going to lay this flat. I'm going to use dots, I think, because this is tiny. And it will be easier on my hand. But if you want to use red line tape, you can. And I folded it to test. I don't think I need a dot on that tab because I'm not using loose candies and I think it will pull in without it. So I'm just putting the dot on my pyramid tab, making sure I don't have any to squish out. And then I'm just bringing that in and pressing it. Okay. And it is going to create your dome and you're going to do that on each one of them now I'm pretty sure that Louise put red line tape on all of her tabs I'm just doing the bottom tab because I'm using Cricut foil acetate and it's very sturdy it's very strong and those little side tabs that I folded they're just lining up perfectly and I didn't feel the need to have adhesive on them for this card I wanted to keep it as clear as possible for my acetate without any adhesive showing on the dome. 
but if yours isn't sticking or lining up, yes, definitely put your adhesive on that tab. I'm using Zots on here, Zot Dots. They're super sticky and super strong. And I have two more. Now I will use my red line tape on the base piece. I probably should have put it on before I did this. But we'll make it. Okay. Good size dome. I think it will fit. <gasps> Yay, it does. I was hoping. Okay. So now you have your dome, and it's kind of shaped like this. You want these tabs here. And Louise, did you glue the top and the bottom of the tabs? Or just the, just the top? And then glue the pieces together. How did you do yours? So I know we have to have it on the top. Yeah, the trapeze shape, the little little um, tab in there. I didn't want to put glue on those. I wanted it to remain clear if I could, and it worked. Trapezoid. My hand doesn't want to work. I can't grasp my tape roll. Just the top blue? Okay. I thought so, but I wanted to be sure. I didn't want to direct them incorrectly. Because most of the shakers we get, you know, they already have the adhesive on them and they have it on the bottom. And it makes it difficult sometimes. Your shakers get stuck in them. So, and you can put these on before you fold it. If it's easier for you. All right, so I've got my red tapes on there, and then I'm just going to go through and remove those release liners. Can I say anything in? Get a grab. There we go. There's one. They have a lot of static in them, too. It's not working for me. Much better. I always do better with the straight pins on them. I 
I can get it to stick to the acetate, that is. Come off of there. Maybe my tape is getting old. There's a roll I just grabbed. Doesn't want to release. I'm having trouble with that today. I can't hold it either. Let's see. More than one way to do anything. See, that's just pulling up the whole tape. Let go. Uh, yay. Two to go. Give it a push down. There we go. It's just not stuck good enough yet. Yay, got them. All right, now we're cooking. All right, when, when you have all of those put together, then you're going to put your, line them up and push them down over those tapes. Give it a nice little rub. Should be sticking all the way around. How stinking cute. Then I assume that the candy has to go in next. And we're going to glue, and this is why I flipped mine so that my silver side would be on this side. Oops, I don't know. Nope, it's a, I have to smash it. Aw, just a hair. So I'm just gonna use a piece of chocolate, a chocolate heart, and I'm gonna put some of my shakers in with it. Yeah, I tried to, I couldn't squeeze them, Cheryl. I'm just going to throw some of those in. These are from close to my heart. And Judy's here, if she needs to post a link to it. Those are the mini hearts that we talked about the other day. I put a few of those in. And you can use your glue, whatever it is you want to use on this. Stay away from your perforation lines. You don't want to put your tape there or your glue. And make sure that I'm above those lines. There we go. And put your glue on the rest of it. And I'm gonna put, I think I'm going to put that Be My Note in there too. You could put it on here though, on the front, I guess, to hide, to hide the craft board color. I should have cut a liner for it to go on there, or I could use, no, too big. Oh well, I'm just going to go with this. I didn't think about the craft board showing through on my window, but I think it'll be fine. I think my candy and my foils will hide it. And then when they pull that off, they'll see the Be My Note. Alright, and we're just going to pretend that I glued this, guys. Got everything in. And then we're going to line up. Line it all up. And then I'm going to flip it over and press it down. Oh, it's cute. 
I have a heart in mine. I got off a little bit on that one there. I can un pull it apart and restick it, but I'm not going to. And then his little beard. Do I need to put it? I, I can put the pants pieces on after, right? Yeah. I think. Let me see which way these go. Don't want to bend them. This goes like this. I think I put it on after. It's a little bit of a line there, so yeah. This is so stinking cute. Love it. I have all of his mustache pieces too. So I am going to use my tape runner on this piece as well. Because I don't want glue squishing out onto up any that's hanging over. I don't want glue to squish out on my foil. Uh-oh, Gail. Is everything going to be okay? And of course, yes, we are praying. All right. I think I'll do this hat next to help me line up my other pieces. to lift him up so I can see guys got my hat and this goes this way yeah. make sure I put my glue on the right side of it Nothing hanging off. Look at his little pants. And then this one will go here. Great job on this, Louise. It's super cute. Now it's mustache pieces. Make sure that you're putting them on in the right direction, guys. So dry fit first. And if you did your texture up, it should all line back up. There we go. I want to make sure I put my adhesive on the right sides. We, it's raining here today. And then his nose goes there. Oh, 
Okay, in his hands, I have to figure out where his hands go. I have to go back to the file, and I moved everything. I moved everything. Yeah, I used a scrap of acetate for mine. Yeah, I could have actually gotten two pieces of that candy in there. I just didn't. I just put one. I could have smashed my lender just a tad and got it in there. Um, there we go. Okay, so his hands go like right here. Is that right, Louise? That's what it looks like. Like he's holding the candy. Oh, you stuck them up like this. Like that. That is cute. That is cute. I, I think I will too. I like it. Come here. It's trying to get away from me. I can barely even use a tape runner right now. I tell you what. I hope that they do something soon with my hand. I love it. That's so stinking cute. And then we have our decor pieces. We have our hearts to put on. This is adorable. I got some sticky on my mat here. And then we, let's see, I guess you could place these any way you wanted to. I'm just kind of trying to lay them out how I want. You can make them all in a straight line or you can rotate them. I think I like mine kind of going different directions. I'm trying to decide. I did Rocky and I have um, a brace for sleeping but they don't want me to wear it all the time they said that will make it worse if I wear it all the time I might need a little bit of glue to get these to hold. That's a pretty good tape runner. I'm flipping these over because I have a texture on this cardstock and I wanted it all to go the same way. I 
How stinking cute is that? Fantastic by Louise. I love him. And then to get your candy out, of course, she's got a little tab here that's cut out so that they can rip that off. Okay? They're just simply going to rip it. It's so cute. I like it with the foil acetate with the hearts on it. That's It's so super cute. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's adorable. I, I should have cut another piece the exact same size as that because I used a craft board to cover it with, but that's my bad, not Louise's. It's the material I chose. Um, so let me show you guys how to do that in case you want to change yours up that way too. So right here on this piece, you would take and duplicate that line. That is her line right there. You're, this piece you're going to hide. You don't need it. You're going to take that and change them to a cut. Well, actually not to a cut. I just want to know the size. So it's 161 and go in and get a shape. Grab it and change that to one point. What was that one? I'm going to make it just shy of that. So I would say 1.59. 1.59 so it doesn't interfere with your ripping it open just want it to be just inside those lines and I would cut that from my same material or another color material just so that you can glue that onto this piece on the inside the back side the craft board side and the craft board won't show through your window okay I should have thought of that and I didn't but you can see my craft board in there. If you cut that piece and glue that in there, you should not see the craft board. And then glue your Be Mine piece on the top of it. I think you put your Be Mine right here on yours, Louise. I put mine inside so when they ripped it off, they got the note. No, you put yours inside too. He is darling. I love it. Thank you for allowing me to share the file, Louise, and to do video on it for our Friday from the community file. And the video's names are Friday Fun Day, but I'm going to be changing the sequence, the, the sequence, the um, series to be Friday from the community because that's what we do on Fridays. We pick a file from the community. With red heart candy. Yeah, the gnome is a new one in design space. We're finally starting to get some really cute gnomes. I did notice that, Louise. But he's super cute. I just wanted to do a pink version. I love I love her version. But I wanted to do one just a little bit different than her version. So that you guys could see how versatile her file was. Um, but fantastic look on hers as well. She did black for the background. So he has little black shoes. You could actually probably cut a piece and do black shoes on top of that, but mine has silver shoes and I like it. And then somebody else did theirs a little different. She used the hologra holographic poster board, it looks like. That looks like Michael's holographic craft board. And she put Hershey Kisses in one, and I can't tell what that other one is. I can't tell what's in the other one. So, I mean, lots of things that you can do. And you did M&Ms, or are those M&Ms, Louise?
And then we have the little pink one. I know that there are more of these in Design Space. They have to be. Anybody that saw her file was probably trying to make this. I would be. Well, I did. <laughs> it was just too cute to pass up. I love him with the silver shoes, too. It's just really cute. And again, if you've got this foil acetate from Cricut, you can do the pink side out or the silver side. It would be cute either way. Yeah, they kind of look like Skittles, but then I got to looking and it looked like peanuts with them. And uh, M&M's peanuts is what it looked like. Joann's has this acetate for online delivery only. Um, if you look on, use my links below, please. Um, I'm going to bring this over to you guys. Just let me get over there. Let's see. Let's go to the shop. Um, Go and pay it's on sale right now too. There is now oh, let's just do this the easy way. Is this the one? I can't tell. This one is not. This one has the card stock and the, the shimmer, I think. There are one of the Martha's. Here it is. I think this is it. This one has the clear acetate in it. Right here. You get um, the 12 by 12 cardstock and acetate in both of these. I don't know how many. Let's see if it'll tell us. You get 18 sheets of acetate and cardstock. So it's probably nine of each. I don't know. No, because it's six of each because it has white, ivory, and acetate. So it would be, probably be six sheets of each one. And seven forty nine is not a bad deal, and it still says that forty eight hours only is supposed to be off, but it looks like it's still on. Let me sign in and be sure. Nope, it's off sale now, and it's out of stock. Darn it! You want the hearts? Yeah, that that's from a couple of years ago. So, and like I said, I had a scrap of it, so that's what I used. Um, let's see. I got some of this. I bought a couple of sheets of this. I have that on my phone. Love Notes. That's the name of it. Love Notes. You have the dots in there. You have the dashes in there. Those are hearts right there in the holographic. And then you have the pink ones too. That's the one I used right there. So you get one of the holograph and one of the pinks and the reds. 16 sheets, four patterns of each one. Yes, you could. 
You could do, yeah, the adhesive foil. That's a good idea, um, guys. If you just have the clear acetate, you can cut some of your holographic uh, vinyl and stick that onto the top of it, then cut your acetate. Oh, it, I am, I am sorry, guys. I am off today with my changing. Um, the Cricut Foil Acetate Sampler, Love Notes. When I'm in pain, I just don't think clearly. <laughs> I forgot to hit change it. So there it is The at Joann's. It's called the Cricut Foil Acetate Sampler, Love Notes. And that's the one that has the hearts in it. 16 sheets. You get the little flowers. There's the holographic hearts. Those are cute too. That's the one I used in the pink. You got two different hearts in there. I used the pink hearts, the dark pink hearts like this. Um, but you ha also have the dots in the four colors. And then you have this heart pattern too. That one's hard to see on it, but you get the colors in, in all of these. This one's really cute as well. And it's on sale. So, um, let's see. If you can find the Martha Stewart, if I can get back over there. This one, the Mixed Materials Martha Stewart Ivory Lace, it has six sheets of the clear acetate in it, if you have that. But it's out of stock at Cricut right now. Yes, Gail, it is. I'm trying. <laughs> I can take my pain meds after this live, but I couldn't take it before because sometimes they make me extremely sleepy and loopy. But yeah, the I don't know if it will e even be back in stock. Oh wait, guys, let's see. Uh, no, it's out of stock. That was such a. That's why it's out of stock. Darn. That would have been an awesome sale. I would. I missed it. I would have gotten several packs of it. Shoot. Now I'm sad I missed that. I would have definitely grabbed that and posted it up to you guys. I didn't see it. I thought it was discontinued in here. I want to be notified. Yeah, they they still have the clear, I think. Right here. It's on sale for $7.99. Guys, go grab it. Use those links down below and go grab it. Um, the pinpoint looks like, nope, it's out. At that price, that's why it's out. Um, this one's on clearance for $8.50. This is the tailored. I have that too. I might have to grab some more. Shoot, I wish that one was in stock. You hit the notify me. Yeah, guys, go in and hit the notify me if it's out of stock. Grab it when you can. But right now, that clear... You can do so much with the clear. I would, at $7.99, that's a really good deal. I would go get it. I forgot how many sheets are in there. Six. Six 12 by 12 sheets.
make sure that you use your group code SAVE10. That's the new group code SAVE10. Yes, please, because sometimes I don't get all of my alerts, Judy. So if anybody gets the alert that it's back in stock, please alert me. All right, guys. Have a very happy crafty weekend. I will catch you on Tuesday and at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and we will do the peony flower. Okay. We're going to finish up doing our flowers next week. And then hopefully my hand will have time to heal be so that we can do some crepe paper flowers uh, the 1st of March, hopefully. They have it for... Let's go and check that for you guys. Yep, 1840. Oh, they only have one left. So whoever gets it first, if you want it, you better grab it. Let me, let me, this is an affiliate link. So if you want it, grab it up. <laughs> Looks like they have one. You might look through there and find more. But that's the only one I see. Yeah, I have some of that too, Irma. I have the uh, lidocaine patches too. You grabbed it, Judy? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Louise, again. Greatly appreciate you. Blick Art has some. Judy's finding it everywhere. So, guys, make sure that you look everywhere. Um, anybody that sells any kind of Cricut material may have it. I will catch you guys on Tuesday. Happy crafting!